Alright, so uh, welcome to video 2. Um, where we left off was it was updating, Avira was updating, and uh, it updated and did a quick scan, and it didn't find anything, of course, and we can end that. The one thing you have to realize with Avira is uh, you'll get this pop up every now and then um, urging you, suggesting that you upgrade uh, to security to their, one of their paid products. Um, and remember that I only chose a Vera because it was just something that I chose. You can choose uh, Komodo, you can choose um, a Vast, you can choose a Squared. There's, you know, a handful of very good uh, Microsoft. There's a handful of very good antivirus solutions out there that you can pick from. Um, but just stay with one of the better, one of the ones that I named in the first video, which they're some of the better ones out there. Um, just pick one that you like. So, um, we got it installed here and it's updated. Let's go and configure the antivirus. Now I'm going to go into expert mode and we'll go through a couple of things here. This is uh, for your scanner, your scanner settings. Um, you can search for rootkits before a scan. Uh, this is when you're running uh, an actual scan. Now I like to uh, check, search for rootkits. And let's see here. You can uh, go to interactive where it'll ask you what to do, or you can go to automatic. Depending on how well the person knows computers, sometimes um, I'll go to automatic. So we'll go to automatic on this one. And uh, primary action is uh, quarantine. Uh, you can uh, scan archives. Got to give it a second here to catch up. There we go. And it's going to scan all these archives. I don't like to mess with these bottom ones because uh, they're all mailbox archives. So I'm not going to mess with them. I just pretty much leave everything like it is here. Exceptions, you can add exceptions if you don't want to scan a certain folder. Maybe like a movie folder or something that you know doesn't have any viruses. But it's just got a lot of data that you don't want to worry about. Uh, and wasting your time scanning. Uh, heuristics, I just leave it just like it is. Medium detection is good. Um... I don't like to go anything higher than medium because you can get false positives, which means you can get a file that's safe actually being detected as a virus or a trojan. Um, let's go to the guard here. We will leave pretty much everything on this page exactly like it is. Um, exceptions yet again heuristics will be left just exactly the same they were you have a report um, you know if you wanna how you know if you wanna limit the size of the file that it saves for when it reports and things like that your update settings you can't go any faster than one day with the free version um, because that's just one of the limitations so you get an update once a day but you can always manually check for updates if you want uh, right here on threat categories I like to select all of them. And if I remember right, I just pretty much leave everything else the way it is. Yep. So that's the settings that I do with Vera. So now we have an antivirus installed on the computer. We're one step to getting safer. Next, we're going to look for a firewall. Um, now, you can get a firewall which is like a plain firewall or you can get a firewall with HIPS which is a host intrusion protection system I think that's what it is yeah. um, and that means it, there's an extra module on the firewall that watches actions and then it asks you questions if you think um, you should be allowed to do this should that action be allowed should that action not be allowed so on and so forth uh, because I want to build this computer to be the least interactive possible. Um, I want to see... I'm going to show you something here real quick. Let me let me pause the video and I'll be right Now, I want, what I want to show you guys here is um, this website is... Uh, it's a company who tests firewalls, but mostly they test HIPS, what I was talking about earlier. Um, and they just came out with a new test that does 148 tests or 148 tests of the system and determines on which one is one of the better HIPS programs. 
um, they have the older version here which was 84. Now it doesn't necessarily test how well the actual firewall works. It tests how well the firewall and HIPS work together and how well the HIPS protects the system from changes and things like that. Um, this point in time I know some people are gonna say oh uh, he favors one product over the, over another and that's not necessarily true because I've tried all of these uh, security solutions out if you know something just a little something you know you have a little bit above average uh, knowledge of computers the one I would highly recommend is Komodo Internet Security um, install that you can install that in just firewall mode with a uh, defense plus if you don't know a lot about computers but you still want to have good protection I'd recommend the PC tools uh, firewall so we're just gonna go grab that right now we're gonna go to Google download it and I'll be back when I'm installing it now one uh, advisor here when you're installing the PC tools um, firewall it does come bundled with the Google toolbar um, I actually like the Google toolbar. I use it a lot every day, not only for searching, but for spell check and translating. So if you like that, you can install it. If you don't, you can just uncheck it and go on. Now, I do not want to install Spyware Doctor because it's Spyware Doctor with evaluate. It's just an evaluation. And we're going to go with normal user. You can go with an expert user, but we're building this PC for a average or below average experienced computer user. So let's uh, let it install here and see what it comes up with. Now it's going to restart so it's asking me to restart the computer so I'll be back when that's done. Okay so the computer is restarting and Avira here is letting me know that I'm working as an administrator with administrator rights. Um, you can they generally recommend you work with a restricted account or whatnot but I like to work with administrator rights but that's just me personally because I know you know a decent amount about computers I can handle that um, if the person you're installing this for I would imagine because you're watching these videos you know how to get to YouTube and things like that so you're a decent computer user um, you can work them and put them in as a restricted user. So now uh, I detected a uh, work group here and I'm always going to set it to public. It's one of the more secure settings. And okay, so let's go and see what we get here. Um, you got your firewall general settings here. It automatically allows known applications and applications with signatures. You can mess around, change the networks and things like that. Automatic uh, uh, filtering, you know, uh, network detection. You got your filtering here. Um, you can set a password if you want. You can set you can set it to full screen mode. Uh, preferences. I'm just trying to remember where I. Now this is where your HIPS product is at the enable enhanced security verification check mark here. Uh, of course I like to leave that on because that's a big part of security. You have an activity monitor here, history, you can do different profiles, we're in the public. Your applications are right here and the status of the system is right there. So now if we go back to control panel and check the security where that thing went. I was never a big fan of this uh, the layout, the action center. There it is. We can see that PC Tools now has registered itself as Network Firewall, which is what we we're looking for. Windows updates are on. That's good. Avira Desktop. So Avira has registered itself as Virus Protection. And Avira has registered itself as. Um, your spyware. So that's a very quick and simple security solution. In the next video I'm actually going to snap back to a clean PC and I'm going to show you how to install Komodo and how to set it up. So I'll be back in video 3.